हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टूटोरियल्स पॉइंट इन दिस सेशन वील सी एस ए पी एम एम कोटा अरेंजमेंट सो द एजेंडा ऑफ द सेशन इज ओवरव्यू ऑफ कोटा अरेंजमेंट सेटिंग फॉर कोटा अरेंजमेंट एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट एडिट एंड डिस्प्ले कोटा अरेंजमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद ओवरव्यू ऑफ कोटा अरेंजमेंट सपोज इफ अ पर्टिकुलर मटीरियल नीड टू बी प्रोक्योर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट वेंडर अकॉर्डिंग टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिक्वायरमेंट सो इन दिस केस वील बी मेंटेनिंग अ रिकॉर्ड फॉर मटीरियल एंड मल्टीपल वेंडर्स इन कोटा अरेंजमेंट सो कोटा अरेंजमेंट डिवाइड द टोटल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मटीरियल among different vendors and then assign quota to each source secondly this particular quota specifies the portion of material that is to be procured from particular vendor now next is the setting for quota arrangement before maintaining quota arrangement there are two important settings first is the source list should exist for that material secondly quota arrangement usage and source list checkbox should be maintained in material master then next is how to create edit and display quota arrangement to create quota arrangement transaction code is meq1 to edit it is meq2 and to display it is meq3 so let's do all these functions practically first setting to create quota arrangement is maintaining a checkbox for source list and quota arrangement usage for that particular material so to maintain this setting go to material master enter transaction code mm02 to edit your material enter your material number here i am entering test data here now here you need to select your view so setting for source list exist in purchasing view so i'll select this view click on okay now here you need to enter your plant and storage location now press on okay now go to purchasing view this is the check box for source list if this is checked this means source list should exist for this material and in quota arrangement usage you can select various options that is one if you want this to use for purchase order or purchase organization or purchase requisition or if you want it to use for everything then select four now click on save setting for quota usage and source list is done now second important thing before creating quota arrangement is maintaining source list so we'll just check whether source list exists for this material or not so to display source list go to transaction code me03 enter your material and plant for which you want to display your source list so source list exists for this material now we will create quota arrangement to create quota arrangement enter transaction code slash n meq1 in command field this will navigate you to maintain quota arrangement page or else you can navigate via sap menu so we'll just go back to home page now select logistics select materials management select purchasing select master data select quota arrangement select meq1 maintain to maintain your quota arrangement you need to enter your material and plant so i am entering test data then press enter this will navigate you to the new page here you need to enter the validity for your quota arrangement so i will enter my validity date you need to enter your minimum quantity for which you wa want to maintain your quota arrangement after entering all the details click on save quota arrangement is maintained successfully
Now to display your quota arrangement, go to transaction code slash and MEQ3. You need to enter your material and plant. This will display all of your details of quota arrangement for particular material and plant. So in this session we learned how to create quota arrangement and in next session we will see how to manage physical inventory.